We now got to use what we call um, the process of electrolysis, whereby we put a current through the water. This is the water from air, and this is our tap that comes out, the water that comes out of our tap. Uh, you will find that natural good minerals will also discolour the water. However, it's the solids that will be, become visible in the actual water that are harmful to our body. Having worked uh, for many years abroad, uh, chasing the money as you do as a youngster, I came back to South Africa um, and uh, realised the need, and this being water shortage in South Africa. It's a very new foundation that was established and it is a registered non-profit organisation. Um, it was established by Water From Air to uh, assist and to feed into the humanitarian side of the business. Having seen the need for uh, water desperately in this country, the cleanliness of water, uh, we developed various machines, worked together with top engineers uh, in Johannesburg and developed which is now our WFA 100 machine. Uh, water from Air um, produces uh, finished goods of products. Uh, uh, we bottle water and we do the finished goods of the water generators. Our current uh, base in Southern Africa is uh, we do uh, business to business, uh, we do uh, corporates, we do hospitality industry here in South Africa and uh, direct to the, uh, the public as well. Uh, we sell to many uh, countries uh, overseas. Uh, we have a, a large client base in North Africa. We have a client base in uh, Europe and in Asia as well, where we have in the past uh, installed uh, our water generators. We now have 15 people working for us. Uh, the main emphasis on this business wasn't chasing the money, as you do as a youngster, but it was our opportunity now to give back. In in terms of uh, water, uh, we're producing around uh, 2,000 litres a day. We have the capacity to produce 6,000 uh, litres of water from air uh, per day. Uh, when uh, we began this uh, operation, we were producing around about 50 litres a day. So we are, at the moment, 2,000, sometimes moving up to about 4,000 litres a day. As you can see here, the water is changing in colour. Um, as I said, it's not necessarily all bad. There are some minerals, good minerals in there, but the solids will slowly develop and you'll see that um, this is what our body is filtering. The water from air, you feel, is, is still staying ice cold. This is starting to warm up, highlighting that there are some conductive materials in the actual water. We answer to where there's water shortage and we also look at providing uh, pure water. Uh, cedar was strongly recommended to, uh, to be brought on board and hence we made contact with cedar. Cedar then took us through the processes uh, and guided us and walked every step of the way with us, putting systems in place, um, increasing production, uh, and uh, finally, we, through this whole process, helped us to achieve ISO 9001, which is a great achievement um, not only for us, but um, the help for CEDA. There's, every member of CEDA has, was exceptional in their help and guidance throughout the process, and uh, through this we've got world recognition. All of our uh, machines come with the relevant uh, approvals, uh, so we are regulated by SABS approvals, uh, LOAs, so we have them for our imports and for our, uh, our locally manufactured machines. With the recent drought in, in this country, South Africa, we uh, went to the aid of uh, some places in Cape Town, especially one of the areas that we serviced where we looked where children were in need and we provided uh, in one instance to one of the um, safe houses and homes on the Cape Flats in Philippi. We provided a, a machine to them We've provided to the Amy uh, Beale Foundation, we provided about 10,000 litres of water. We're really looking for people who want to share this vision with us, to collaborate with us, 
to invest in a greater future, not to chase the buck, but to have a, a, a secure, sustainable business moving from success to significance. Our plans here in South Africa is that we want to advance uh, the production of these uh, particular water generators in South Africa to produce uh, uh, generators that will become more affordable for uh, the greater uh, market in South Africa, which is our uh, largest challenge at the moment. Our engineers have uh, designed and uh, we are the smaller units and we we should be in production with them within a year. Uh, at this moment in time, uh, part of our plans and part of our funding uh, uh, challenges is to uh, start, have a startup factory here in Durban, uh, which we're uh, a long way uh, down the line. And uh, yes, our ambition is to start next year and where we'll be producing uh, thousands and thousands of uh, these units uh, which will uh, sort out a lot of the challenges that exist here in South Africa today. Uh, to that end, uh, I personally and I know the team at Water From Air would really like to thank CEDA for this guiding process and would, I would highly recommend any small, any SMMEs uh, in the process to get in contact with CEDA. It makes a phenomenal difference to your business.